and welcome back neighbors I took a short trip to Thailand I uh, wanted to get an advanced version of my scuba license I was in the Fifi Islands there I saw some Barracuda Whew, they look stealthy I mean those things are like like a little submarine then I saw some cuttlefish the king of camouflage and and they was sitting absolutely still just majestic loved it like a flying carpet huge leopard shark I think this was bigger than me well a lot of things are bigger than me and then over there they had these huge sea cucumbers i mean these things are gigantic just looks so nasty Ooh, i just want to squeeze the thing Ooh. in between the island and bangkok we tried a lot of home cooked dishes um everything tasted amazing you know thai food is amazing but one thing that i was surprised by was that uh pad thai is not like a common dish in thailand like Thai people don't eat a lot of pad thai. Anyhow, that's enough about the trip and the little fishes. Today I'm craving Korean food. It's been a while. So I want to make a, a nice lunch set menu. Um, just something spectacular that uh, you'd be proud to make and share with someone else. Let's go. First dish, we're gonna do an amazing king oyster mushroom and we're gonna braise it with some perilla seeds and a little broth. They're big, so I'm gonna cut them in half first. All right, and then just some thin sections. Let's just cut them thin. Then let's do a fourth of an onion. Bring onion. Let's just open this up. As part of the advanced course, I had to do one night dive. And at nighttime, of course, you can only see where the flashlight is aimed. But I kind of had this feeling that something is following me, so I like flip the flashlight backwards and sure enough I could see the reflection of an eye in the back <laughs> swam as fast as I could right next to the instructor I just I just swam right next to him it's just like oh uh, no 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 I'm not looking back again all right these look a little bit long so I'm gonna just chop these in half and before we start I wanted to give one more introduction to uh, perilla powder this is made from the seeds of the perilla leaf we call it kennip in Korea and uh, we use it for a lot of dishes like kamjatang, which is that pork neck soup. We add this as a topping at the end, right? This is just grated seeds. By the way, if you do buy this, make sure to keep this in the freezer. If you leave it out at room temperature, chances are it'll get humid and expire very quickly. But uh, if you taste it, it's like earthy, aromatic. And the only other flavor that comes to mind is, of course, the perilla leaf. So hard to describe if you haven't had it. Get this on a medium, oil in, tablespoon of minced garlic in. Move that around. And once you can smell it in the air, let's put all of the vegetables in. Toss this around so you get that garlic flavor, sun kiss in every spot, all right? And once the mushroom starts sweating just a little bit, we're gonna flavor it with one tablespoon of fish sauce, all right? And then one tablespoon of mirin, or any cooking wine. Those two flavors are gonna be the base seasoning. Mix it around for about 10 seconds, and then we're gonna dilute it with half a cup of water. And then as we wait for it to simmer away, we're gonna put in four tablespoons of this perilla powder. This is gonna add that second layer of flavor. Mix that up. Ooh, doesn't look beautiful. And this color, this reminds me of tukke kalguksu. It's kalguksu made in this broth of this perilla powder. It's vegetarian, it's also very nice during the winter. Continue to let it reduce until most of the broth is gone. And if you move your kitchen utensil and it doesn't come back easy, this is perfect. It's almost kind of looking like a uh, Alfredo sauce. <laughs> we'll turn off the heat. Oh man, take a look at that. Beautiful, nice and creamy. I'll take a bite. Mm, that's beautiful. This seasoning is spot on. Guys, this is an amazing side dish. If you want to make this as a panchan, keep it in your refrigerator. Amazing. If you want to put it into a toshirak with some other panchans and some rice, whew, put a little bit of green onion on top. Tukekaru sauce. Perula powder sauce. Very nice. Ah. I got three potatoes, each about the size of my palm. Good. Of course, I like mashed potato, but these are one of my favorite ways to eat potatoes. 
these Korean style sort of braised potatoes, cut them into smaller bite-sized blocks, try to get them roughly around the same size. And we're gonna cover them with some cold water. Putting them in cold water helps remove excess starch. This helps them get a little bit more of a crisper skin and not break down. All right, we'll let them hang out for about 10 to 15 minutes while we prep the other stuff. Next, get one cup of cold water. This step is optional, but I like to put in a piece of dashima. That dashima, you know, when we make anchovy kelp broth, it turns it kind of mucusy and brings all the flavor together. That's what I want to bring, all the flavor. And duck it in there, and if you don't have this, just use regular water, no problemo. Get a chili pepper. I'm using a dried one, or fresh also works. We just want a little bit of chili pepper to give it a kick, again. Using fresh is fine. Neighbors, let's do four tablespoons of soy sauce. That's one, four, that's good. Two tablespoons of mirin, two. And one tablespoon of sugar, teaspoon of sesame oil, and a few cracks of black pepper, maybe five or six. All right, now we'll mix this up. And fun but random fact, did you know that the Finding Nemo, what's that fish, the, the clownfish, it's born male, but it has the ability to turn into a, a female. What? All right, before we start, let's empty out this water through a strainer. Let's get a little bit of oil in the frying pan. Once that gets hot, we'll add in our potatoes. Oh, I'm still thinking about those sea cucumbers that are like this big. Ooh. From here, my friends, we'll move them around, moving them around until they're about halfway cooked through. All right, it's been around three or four minutes, about halfway translucent. That's good for me. Let's throw in the chili peppers. Let's give our sauce a good mix one more time. Then we'll add it in. Mix them in, in that soy sauce. Wow, so that color is gonna change immediately. So now we're gonna get our dashima water. And we're gonna slowly add it to our mix. All right, and now we're gonna bring it back up to boil and we're gonna let it reduce and all that flavor come into the potato. Left. This is at a good place. We're gonna put in some oligodong, which is oligosaccharide syrup, or you can use bulyat, which is the Korean word for corn syrup. If you don't have either, you can get away using honey. Put in one tablespoon of the syrup in. This is gonna thicken it up into a glaze. These potatoes, my friends, they're to die for. You know, I just plated this, but I'm just keep going through them. It's so good. You pop it. Ah. We're gonna grill some pork. If you go to Korean markets, they have something called Han Jong Sal, which is, I believe, the neck. Good amount of fat surrounding it and a little bit of you know, marbling, which makes it very, very delicious. Of course, if you don't have that available, use a different cut of pork. Just cut it into kind of bite-sized pieces that's easy to chew. And uh, if it has a little bit of marbling, even better. We're gonna combine that grilled meat now with a very fresh salad, and it's so delicious. Let's do a piece of cucumber, measure to your pointer finger. That looks about good. Then I just have a small bundle about the width of a quarter of Asian chives. These chive leaves are characteristically very flat, right? We used them to make Korean pancakes as well as a lot of other dishes. Length of your pinky for the chives. All right, and then for the cucumber, oh, don't remind me of the sea cucumber. Uh, cut it very thinly. You guys know in Korea, we do eat the sea cucumber, but the one I saw in Fifi Island, that thing was huge. Nothing like the ones we eat here. And then the onions. I want you to thin slices and the onion slices we're going to put in some cold water so it loses some of its potency and all we need to do now is make our salad sauce for our sauce let's do half a tablespoon of minced garlic one tablespoon of soy sauce one tablespoon of mirin or any white cooking wine then one tablespoon of vinegar and half tablespoon of sesame oil give this a nice mix and these pieces are absolutely amazing All right, as you can see, some of that fat start to melt away. Give it the base seasoning of salt and pepper. That's beautiful. These crispy pork pieces are ready. We'll empty the water out from the onions. Let's put all of our vegetables into a mixing bowl. Then the pork pieces, they might be a little bit big, so just cut them in half. All right, meat pieces in. Mix the sauce up. Dump that sauce in. Give it a nice toss up. Oh, yes. Just hit it with a little bit of sesame seeds. And this, my friends, is not only simple, but delicious and healthy. All right, and my, oh, Katie's here. How does she? Hi. Good evening. 
How did you what know again? Day? Katie, did you actually go to work or were you just uh, waiting outside the door till now? I'm so hungry. Let me taste it for you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Cucumber and chive salad with... Uh, anyway, it's delicious. Which one should I go for first? Try, is this, try this. What is this? You know, yeah, the one you like. What do you think? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the seasoning is so right, huh? Yeah, but they sat out for a little bit, so they look a little bit dry. But it's very light seasoning. Mm. What do you think? It's delicious. It's nice, huh? Like a home cooked style. Mm. Usually, this one is too salty for me but it's perfect right yeah I cut down on the the seasoning a lot <laughs> uh, 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 if Katie's dancing that means it's a hit y'all that means it's a hit y'all see ya yeah.